the book of Genesis, I wrestled, man, for two weeks. There had been some stuff going on. Hey, sis, how you doing? There's been some stuff going on, and I mean, I've been wrestling, boxing, throwing rocks, kicking. I've been doing some fighting. I mean, it's been some stuff. Every time I look around on the job, there's something. And when I think the worst has happened, something else worse than that happened. For about two weeks or more, I've been fighting. Fighting. And I must share with you that every fight that I've been fighting because of the contingency of this fight, some of it have not been the devil. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hey, glory. I find out sometimes since I fight me more than I fight the devil. Yes, yes, yes. 100%. My title today, I'm in the fight of my life. Fight of my life. I'm in the fight of my life, trying to live this life. Seem like I keep getting in the way. This old nasty flesh that I live in, what, what a wretched man that I am. Oh, yes. The harder I try, it seem like the worse I get. Though to do good, evil standing there, and I then they begin to do more evil than the good I do. Yes, Say sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, preaching, fire baptized. Mm -hmm. It don't stop you from going through. It don't stop you from coming, amen, in contact with your own self. It's the enemy that's me. That I'm fighting. You calling this the devil, amen. You giving the devil too much problem. You're giving him too much glory. You giving him praise that didn't even belong to him. Yes, sir. God is telling you it's you. There's some things you pray to God for that mm, really you're supposed to do. He said, Sanctify yourself. Yeah. Why you keep at God saying? Mm -hmm. There's some stuff you supposed to do. Uh, Help us, Jesus. I'm in the fight of my life, see. Y'all quiet, but let me tell you I'm something. There's some stuff, man, I battle with. Hallelujah. I wouldn't even tell you about it. Because you think, uh, and this is some of our problem because of who we are here. You think we don't go through, you know. But let me tell you, the, the, the pressure, the fights, the, 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 the anxiety, the, the sleepless nights, the, the time. I was in my job on the desk and I put my head between my hands and just held my head. Hallelujah. It's the things that I'm battling. Yeah. And when you think he done threw everything at you, he got a little bit more. But it wasn't exactly him. <laughs> you allowed it. I mean, Genesis 32. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob is now battling. And, and, and he's now the angel, the man, the Bible says, and the man wrestled with Jacob. Now, wait a minute. Jacob didn't pick the fight. No. Nope. Jacob didn't pick, pick the fight. <laughs> Genesis 32 and 24, and Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. <laughs> All night long. But there's a reason. 
Don't you think God always have a reason? You do things willy nilly, but God does. God have a purpose and a reason. God don't just do. There's always reason with God. Amen. <laughs> I, I, I asked myself, well, why did he go all night long? Genesis 32 and 25. And when he, <laughs> you, want, you want me to get to the punchline now? <laughs> you want me to get to, <laughs> they standing. How do you want me to hit you now? Because they'll never sit down. No, let me stop. <laughs> the fight and the struggle, the issues that you have with what you do and you're trying to get rid of, it actually is the fight that God is having with you, but you won't conceive. Wow. You cool. You won't submit. So the patience of God in long term goes along. Yes, Lord. Because the purpose that he already you told me I ain't, I ain't supposed to be here yet <laughs> go ahead this is good the, already the, 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 the purpose now, 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 purpose was called before you even had life yes, sir. so now because purpose amen now you're in life the love of him are for you he had all night experience. You've been wrestling for years. Yes, sir. He had all night. But then he turned, hey, why are you making me go here? And I can't stop now. You know? But yeah. then, listen, but then he turned to me. You were making me jump around. I'm trying to, I trying to, it can't even do homiletic, homiletically with this guy. So look, but purpose brought you to. Life because he had need of you in the earth. And, and because he had need of you in the earth, he brought you to a place where he needs you. So now you didn't come out right. You was born or born in iniquity. Shake. Y'all wait. Getting inside. Y'all, y'all know. So, so, so therefore he had to shape you. So the things that you have in you. It took him all night. But how long has it been taking you to get rid of that? I'm in the fight of my life. All right. <laughs> all my life. All my life. Amen. Somebody, see, now, now, see, now, that's how you get delivered. All my life. That's how you get delivered. Don't y'all sit there acting like y'all all cute and you ain't, ain't never did nothing. Like you ain't struggling, you ain't fighting. Hey, I'm wrestling, standing up right now. If it had not been for the Holy Ghost, yes, I wouldn't sir. be standing here. Amen. That's the reason for it. Amen. But I serve a stand up God. Hey. Come on in, Bishop. Hey. He stood up in me. Yes, sir. I like that. And the Spirit of the Lord come upon you. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Make a standard. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so, 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 can I finish? Go ahead. I'm sorry. You already, I don't know what, what. and then, and, 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 and Jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until, he said amen and wrestled with him, amen, wrestled with him. Yeah, he didn't, now, 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 Jesus, Jacob began to wrestle, but, but the man picked the fight. You want me to go there again? Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Wouldn't you love if God pick a fight with you? Jesus. Well, he have. You just have not given up yet. He, he, he been fighting you all. Look, 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 look. And he can win now, but he wants you to come to the realization of who you are and that you need him. Yes, sir. You have not come to it yet. That's why you still got the issue. Yes, sir. 
born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Hallelujah. Why is some of that residue still on you? You ain't, you ain't found out that, hallelujah, you haven't submitted yourself to him yet. Why do you think he asked, see, you gonna make me go there. Why do you think he asked Jacob, what's your name? Yes, sir. You don't think he knew. You don't think, yeah, he is hyping. Yeah, yeah, I heard you first. You don't, <laughs> you don't think he knew Jacob's name? Jacob had to realize, bro, I see, I see. Jacob had to realize that he was the trickster. Jacob thought he was all cool in the game because he had done left Laban. He had done served Laban. He had done da 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 And then the prayer that he prayed just before, if you go in here, I don't know about the knife verse, amen, hallelujah, he prayed the prayer Amen. And, and what, what, what we realize is that God had been with Jacob all the time. He didn't just show up. How come you think that Jacob was blessed even in Laban? Laban knew he was blessed. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. He knew he was blessed. Yeah. That, the, that the presence of the Lord was with him. Yeah. Hallelujah. But the, the, the thing is, he was blessed. He, but Jacob did not know that Jacob was messing with Jacob. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Jacob was keeping Jacob from moving forward. Wow. Have he come to a place in your life that he's been wrestling with you? Yes, Lord. And and you have not yielded. So the wrestle or the fight is still going on. And you're wondering why am I still going through this same issue day in, day out. Last year I had, about the same time, I had the same problem. When he asked Jacob, well, what is your name? Jacob replied, Jacob, trickster, old slick. Yeah. Wow. Because wow. Jacob had his daddy's issue. Yeah. Uh -huh. Man, come on, Bishop. Break it down, sir. Yes, sir. Break down the come on, Bishop. When Isaac, <laughs> y'all, we don't go in, y'all. Y'all sit down, cause yeah. <laughs> when Isaac, <laughs> when Isaac. So Esau and Jacob to come that you may receive your birthright, your blessing. <laughs> First of all, he gave up his birthright over a pot of stew. <laughs> it says he, over some food. <laughs> All right, y'all laughing? I got one for you, though. Don't let me laughing. <laughs> Symbolically, what is your issue? What is your pot of stew that you're still, or that you're missing out on your kingdom, on your inheritance? What, what is it that you, 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 y'all... The, 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 the stool symbolically was something he submitted to amen which was an earthly you know cause I could have went over there and cut my own animal and made me some stew I could have got me a root or something start chewing on it or something you know but, but, but what is it that, that has caused you to miss your inheritance or or that's causing you or will cause you to miss your inheritance. Yes, Lord. Now, now your inheritance is the kingdom. You, you want heaven to be Lord. You want you you uh, come on now. Huh? Amen. So so now don't miss heaven because you got the stew. Yes, Lord. You, you, 
you, <laughs> you mean to tell me because of your appetite? Hallelujah. Now, wait a minute now. I'm not just talking about what you eat, but what is in that flesh that you have an appetite for, that you just won't give up, that you just won't quit, that you, ah, y'all, come on here, that you will not give up. There's some stuff. Now let me get back. Let me get back. Yes, sir. I got a hype man. You know, the hype man ain't back in the day. He got a hype okay, man. No. This, 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 this. So, so I said he has uh, his daddy's issue. His daddy issue was he was blind. So when I say he was blind, he was not physical blind. No, no. Isaac was physical blind, but his spirit now, his spiritual senses is dim. How dim was they? They were so dim that he could not determine was you Esau or was you Jacob? How you don't know your own son? How you don't? How do you don't know? And, 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 and what's funny, sis, is <laughs> Esau was a man of the field. That means he had to have some scent, some smell. They had to have some itch. Amen. And then, and then when he put the fake skin on him, you didn't know that wasn't him. So he had his daddy's issue. He was blind. This, this, this was Jacob. Trickster. That's the word Jacob actually means trickster. The original, God knew he had to be, a, he was going to be a trickster because his name was Jacob before he even did the dirt. <laughs> Amen. But even though God know you had dirt, he still used you. Listen, here today, I was telling him today that, 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 that your sin, your dirt, is not bigger than his grace. Right, right. Come on, Bishop. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Yep, yeah. yep, yo, yo, His grace is bigger than any dirt you have. Right. Right. Huh? Hallelujah. I know they told you you ain't nothing and you, you, what sin you committed and this and that and, and you're going to die and go to hell. They have no heaven or hell to put you in. As long as there's grace, yes, sir. his grace supersedes my sin. You hear me, bro? His grace supersedes my sin. Every dirt I have, his grace supersedes it. So Jacob, Jacob now has his daddy's issue and I ain't finished reading because my hype man got me going. Yeah. And, and uh, so in and, and Genesis 32, 25, and when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. God is saying here, what on you I have to break to break you? It was his hip. But if I got to break something on you, <laughs> ah, but I'm going to get my glory out you. <laughs> you know why? Because if I break you physically, it's only physically. I don't actually use you always physically anyway. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. That was good. That was good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what on you that I have to break to get you out of you? To cause you to cease from fighting me. I, the man wrestled with him, but believe me, he could have beat him. But, but, but the grace, the mercy, and the patience of God. So, uh, 
Let's see if he's going to conceive. Let's see if he's going to conceive. He's not going to give in. He ain't going to give in. He didn't. It goes on to say, hallelujah. <laughs> and he said, let me go. For the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except you bless me. Jeez. At this point, Jacob <laughs> was doing nothing but holding on. The intensity of the battle, our issue is you get in that place and you feel like giving up. When you're standing at the brink ah, yes, of your blessing. Yes, right the there. door is, you're right there, but you, 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 because the intensity of the fight, hallelujah, which you did, just simply did, all you got to do is give up. All you got to do is surrender. The battle is won. Hallelujah. Victory belongs to you. But you stand and fight against God because well, <laughs> you got some that got too many with you that keep gassing you up. Oh, you don't have to do that. You, you are yes, right. Devil is yes, a liar. That's 100%. So, so wait, wait. Let's go back to the top. Stay right there, sis. I see you. Let's go back to the top. Listen, 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 listen. listen. And Jacob was left alone. Only when he got alone did the man visit him. He didn't visit him when he... But he got alone. Yes, sir. Sent him away. Sent him away. Took his two wives. Y'all go over here. Y'all look. You gonna go on across the brook? Cause, cause if if Esau come, see, even though he prayed the prayer and, and he may have felt the presence of God, but there was still a little trembling because he had dog Esau. Can I just be? You know, yeah, be yeah. He he had done ripped. He done stole Esau. So he sent over x amount of goats and x amount of camels and x amount of this and he, hopefully to touch the heart of of Esau. Huh? Hallelujah. You know how y'all do. Y'all come bearing gifts, amen, to someone actually. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't need to apologize in the first place. Right. No, they ain't worth it. Who said that? They ain't, ain't worth it. But in this case, he did Esau wrong. But here's the deal, sir. He did not see God until he got alone. Chitter chatter, huh? It became a distraction from, ah, from the presence that was already there. Y'all don't miss, you get what I said? He said he was all, I just told you he was always with him. He's been there all the time, but he could not see him. Not until he got alone, then he saw him. So for some of us, we got, just got too many people with us. Huh? And you hear that old saying, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm shrinking in my circle. Matter of fact, you probably need to get out of circle all together. You, 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 you know, you, you don't need to be in no circle. They ain't right. You ain't right. You know, they feeding you wrong and you eating it. it, it, it eating it wrong. Maybe you need to walk alone for a minute. Walk alone, get away, walk alone, and get yourself together, and then now you come back, and then you can share with them what God had done for you. Hallelujah. But they ain't going to listen as long as you're sitting there, you acting like them. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you standing there, you acting like them. Yeah. So, get on down here. Uh, Genesis 32 and 26, and he said, let me go. For the day breaketh, and he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Now I'm back to the part I already said. <laughs> we love him, though. Amen. That's all right. And, 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 and he said, Jacob, trickster. Hallelujah. <laughs> He couldn't call no other name because he didn't see the wrong that he had done. Wait, 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 wait. For some of you that didn't get it. Listen, listen. He knew the wrong that he did. Yes, sir. Woo. Yes, Lord. You knew it. You knew it. You 
know what you did. But see, most of us know what they did, but we still have not asked for forgiveness. We still have not come to a place that I'm now submitting to the God that I serve that he can get that out of me. <laughs> and he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God and with man and has prevailed. Romans 7, 24, wretched man that I am. Again, my topic is I'm in the fight of my life. Like Jacob, amen, I'm wrestling every day. The thing is, Jacob was really, it says that he wrestled, the man wrestled with him. The thing is, isn't it wonderful that God would pick a fight with you to get you out of you? He thought so much of you and he wanted you so much that he would pick a fight for you, or with you to get you out of you. In other words, let me give it to you to understand. He allow you to struggle day in and day out, day in, go through a fight day in and day out. You keep saying, oh, why am I this and why am I that? God is trying to kill you. So the fight has gone wrong than it has to go. Now, Jacob did 24 hours. He did all night. But how long your battle has been going? How long you been dealing with the issue that you're dealing with that God picked the fight with you, but you're still holding on to the thing. You have not seen that you was wrong yet. But the minute that Jacob then realized, hallelujah, hallelujah, that he now is Jacob, the trickster, that's when he changed his name. Well, what you saying, Pastor? I'm saying this. Have you ever had a name change? Yes. Huh? Hallelujah. My battle has been intense, so I, I'm, I'm thinking now that I'm about to get my name changed. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? I'm going through some stuff and I'm fighting, amen, and hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you, sis, that I am fighting every day and I have a smile, but you have no idea what's going on behind it. I'm laughing with you and I'm going on, but there's moments I have hold my head and I shed a tear where I had to get up because the intensity of the battle. I'm trying to tell you, I then creep up on me when I don't want to, but my flesh say do. My flesh was born of this world and it craves the things of this world. My flesh was born from this dirt. Hallelujah. In this flesh dwells no good thing. Because this flesh is all corrupt, you saved. Your flesh ain't saved. Your flesh ain't saved. Uh, yeah. And you, you, you wondering why you, and you trying, amen. Hallelujah. You got to surrender. Admit to who you are like Jacob did and then your name can be changed. Have you not admitted that you got that problem? Have you not admitted that you got this issue or that issue? Have you not you ain't admitted it because you're still going through with it? You still fighting every day with the same old, same old. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. We are in this fight, amen. Hallelujah. And day in and day out, no matter how bad or how hard it gets, but I refuse to give up on God. Yes. I'm holding on, sis. I'm holding on. At, at this point, Jacob said, I refuse to let you go. Yeah. At this point, Jacob was saying, I, I'm, I'm not going to let you go. Hallelujah. I'm busted, tore up, and disgusted, but I'm not going to let you go. Yeah. I'm holding on with everything I got. I don't yeah. care how hard it gets. Hallelujah. I'm dangling by the thread. Hallelujah. And it seems like, sister Stucky, it ain't but one little piece of thread, but I refuse to let it go. Ah, I, I came to find out, hallelujah, it's better in God than it's ever been out there. It's better in Jesus, hallelujah, than I've ever had it out there. Yeah, out there, I was Jacob. Out there, amen, hallelujah, I was every name, but there was a time that came, hallelujah, that God changed my name. 
uh, I came in as Victor. But after a little while, my name changed to Brother Victor. <laughs> because I was wrestling, I was throwing, amen. I was getting hit and I was getting knocked down. But God so fit at some point, amen. He's ready for transformation. Hey, at that point, amen, after getting beat up and knocked down, I, I'm talking about bloody, busted up, lip all chopped up. I'm talking about where the devil beat me up, but I sustained the fight. I sustained the fight. No matter how hard it got, no matter what I was going through, I refused to give up on God. I refused to throw in the tower. I refused to tell God no. I said yes and God got and, uh, it got a little more intense uh, but when I said yes y'all uh, he changed my name again he changed my name from brother Victor uh, to minister Posley y'all don't hear me <laughs> are you ready for a name change uh, are you ready for a change in your name uh, that you no longer who you used to be uh, but now I am a new creature uh, I've been bought with a price <laughs> I am a somebody do you understand uh, somebody clap your hands one time we can the hope and give our God some glory come on y'all Give him glory, give him glory. My name's been changed. My name's been changed. The prophet's name been changed. You think when he was going through, he was in battle, y'all. He was in battle, y'all. Yeah, he was prophet then and still prophet. But after the battle, after the wheelchair, He's no more prophet. Overseer, what you say? Your name's been changed. Your name's been changed. God changed my name. He changed my name. The fight is all worth it. Don't give up. Don't you quit. Don't you throw in the towel. God is coming to your rescue. Hold on. Just a little while longer. God, he's coming. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'm in the fight of my life to change my life. I'm in the fight of my life to change my life. I don't want to be who I was. I want to be that new guy. I, I, I was minister and I went on and the battle got intense. And after the battle got intense and God seen I had some tenacity. God seen I had some stick to it. God seen I refused to throw in the tower. God seen I'm going to hold on. He changed my name from Minister Posley to Elder Posley. Y'all don't hear me? Hey, y'all don't hear me? But he changed my name. Ah, not who I used to be. Ah, I fought a good fight. I stood the test. I knocked some out and I got knocked out. But every now and then, I submit. Every now and then, I surrender. Yeah, I surrender. I surrender. No more fighting. No more fighting. I surrender. I'm throwing in the tower. The thing about God, when you throw in the tower, you think he always throw it back. But God is telling you, we're sweat without the tower. But you still gonna fight. You still gonna fight. Everybody do the demo. Throw it out there and they throw it back. God kept it. God kept the tower. God kept the tower. You gonna go through, but you got to because your name has been meant to be written 
in the Lamb's Book of Life. Your name has been meant to go out into the earth and compel men to come. Somebody clap your hands. Somebody clap your hands. The problem with Jacob, he wrestled instead of surrendering. The problem with Jacob, he wrestled instead of surrendering. He should have surrendered. But I come also to tell you that some of us, we're a little stubborn. We're a little hard-headed. We think we can beat this thing. We think we can conquer it. But the devil is a liar. You must depend on Jesus. You got to depend on God. But the thing that you wrestle with is not flesh and blood. The thing that you wrestle with, it's not flesh and blood. You might can beat any man that's out here, but that demon you fighting, that flesh that you fighting, it's you got to get out of you. Somebody clap your hands. Somebody clap your hands. I'm about to take my seat. But the story didn't end right there. The story didn't end right there. He wrestled with me some more. Because I still had some stuff. I still did not surrender to. I still had some issues. I still was fighting with. And after he knocked me down. Beat me up. God allowed it to happen. God allowed me to be bloody. God allowed me to be tore up. From the flow up. God allowed me to be beat up that I may see the glory of the Lord. That I must acknowledge that God is bigger than anything that I fight. He changed my name again from elder to bishop. The things that changed, it wasn't just a title. The title was symbolic, but I... Somebody clap your hand. Hey, hey, hey. He changed me. But the story didn't end there. I said the story didn't end there. The battle got intense. The battle got crazy. The battle got so crazy. I began to fall on my face. I begin to call on Jesus. I begin to see the devil that there was an old python snake that's coming to wrap itself around me, trying to choke the very Christ out of me. But the devil is a liar. The Bible told me, Great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I begin to fight back. But when I surrendered, I laid myself down. He changed me from bishop to pastor. Change my name. Have your name been changed? Have your name been changed? Somebody say, Lord, change my name. Lord, change my name. Change me, God. Work me over, God. Take me out of me. That God, I don't look in the mirror and I see me. But God, I want to see you. I don't want to see me no more. But God, I want to see Jesus in my life. I want to operate the way Jesus operates. Somebody clap your hands. Hey. 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 Have your name been changed? Are you tired of struggling? Are you tired of going through? Are you tired of seeing you instead of Jesus? Are you tired of looking in the mirror and seeing what you don't want to see? Y'all ain't going to help me. Y'all think y'all all right. Okay, you are the Jacobs of today. You are the Jacobs of today. You are the Jacobs and the Esau. 
you all right y'all all right but not until Jacob saw who he was then his name was then changed hey are you ready for the name change clap your hands and give God praise The thing is, not until Jacob realized, then his name was changed. So God had to get you or kill you that's in you, that's stopping you from getting where he wants you to be. So what he does then pick a fight with you. So you can see you. His fight with you, this fight was symbolic to what he's doing in your life. Your struggle that you're going through, the issues that you're having, it's your fight. But like Jacob, we think we can win through our brute physical strength. But the scripture says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So don't think what you're fighting that you can actually win. That, that thing in you been with you and some of it is hereditary. Pastor Randy came on third Friday was sharing with us how iniquity is in the bloodline. And how there is some stuff <laughs> you're going through you ain't had nothing to do with it. Nope. at all the thing is you never stopped it you were supposed to be the answer to the solution but you never stopped it Help me, Lord. you never stood up and yeah. took your rightful place and told that devil this stops now Pastor Randy went in and began to share with us how the hereditary iniquity that we have could have stemmed from way back when, but we're battling with it and you think it just appeared. But why is it that your father was, your uncles was, and your nephew is, and you are the alcoholic or the homonger in the house? You were supposed to stop it, but you never stopped it. You are the Jacobs of today. Your name have not been changed yet. We want more, we want to do more, they want to be more. But not until you get over that old you, that old stuff that you keep bringing before God. God said, I'm tired of you coming. When, when, when. <laughs> when you when when that, that newness of you when you coming you keep on coming but you keep bringing me the same old you when you gonna change when when are you gonna realize yeah, that you are supposed to be that new creature that's renewed daily I, I, I. But we keep coming before God with the same old, same old. As I told you, there's some stuff He told you. Hallelujah. And you keep battling as though, oh, it's all right. And then you keep sweeping it under the rug and you keep uh, going past it like as though it don't exist. And every once in a while, it raises its ugly head. I thought I was over that. I thought I got past that. But as soon as she walked past, she said, the look ain't the killer, this that second look. Come on, Bishop. Talking now. Nothing wrong with looking. You know, they look good, but 
If you got to do the double mint, double take, something just went on up here. All right, all right, all right. That's what it means. Something just went on. <laughs> well, the my hype man just stepped in. That later, here you go. Come on, you see it? Don't got quiet out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it is that old stuff that God is trying to get out of you. Because here's the deal: if I can just move that out of you, I got a place for you that has been set aside only for you. There's a place before me, uh, in front of me. There's a place beside me that I called you to before you was even born. God didn't make a mistake when you was created. You was created for his purpose. There's always a purpose for God, in God. And so if I'm purpose, then I'm holding myself back because I never reached my full potential. Because I'm holding on to the stuff that I actually should just let go. What is it that you're holding on to? Whose stew you eating? Whose stew are you eating that you are the Esau of today? And you're eating it and didn't know you're being poisoned. It's tricking you out of your birthright. Your birthright is glory. If you keep eating the stew, you're going to miss glory. Then you're going to renege on your birthright. It's there for you. It's there. I made up in my mind, no matter how tough it is, this old flesh got to die. This flesh got to die. For the newcomers, it is the earthly desires that's in this flesh that needs to die. Long as this body live, my soul live in it, that I am the vessel of God in the earth. But the activities that I do, that I don't want to, that keep raising his head, it's got to die. You got to not want it no more. Stop saying yes to what you doing when actually you should say no. It's the little foxes that spoil the vine. You think, oh, it's just, oh, it's just the beginning. Hallelujah. It's opened up an area, amen, that you are or can go into a point of no return. If the man of God or God himself don't come and deliver you out of the clutches of the enemy, you're in that place. God wants to deliver you. Never meant for you to stay there. God wants to deliver you. Today is your day. Hallelujah. Who's tired of you? Who's tired of you? Hey. You sang the song this morning, I give myself away. I tell them, sometimes I don't like me. Lord, here I am. I don't like what I see. I don't like what I do. Because in my sanctified soul, I want to be right before God. I want to be right before God. I don't care what he, she, or them do. I want to be right before God. 